Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, half past three coming up to in uh, a very, very sunny and hot uh, Notting Hill in West London. Uh, and it's Wednesday, the 22nd of June. Hard to believe that the uh, half the year is over. Uh, so S&P opened uh, well down and has, uh, in the last what hour, it's in fact made up all of that ground. Uh, so, as yet, uh, we're still showing a red light uh, on the broader market. Uh, the short-term trend is down, the underlying trend is down, and the longest-term measure of the trend is down on VectorVest, and that's exactly the same in the UK. Uh, the uh, VectorVest proprietary MTI and buy-sell ratio in both countries is showing a mega oversold, uh, situation but as we all know these things can stay oversold for quite a long time but there is a, a great deal of promise around in my humble opinion so things technically have changed for the better so I'm looking at the VectorVest composite ladies and gentlemen those are the uh, confirmed call signals uh, over the last uh, well that's that signal uh, in November which was a great signal a little bit of a speed bump here and uh, since the uh, uh, 12th of April the trend has been down and solidly down uh, is are we going to bounce are we going to see a, uh, a bear market rally or is this a resumption of the bull trend uh, I don't know but I shall be taking the signals as they come along now if we look at this a little bit more uh, closely we can see that we've got an island reversal here, folks. Now, it's not as easy to see on the VectorVest composite, the broader market, than it is to see on the SPX, but we had a gap down and a gap up. Uh, and uh, as you can see, the market, in fact, uh, opened uh, down this morning, went a bit lower, and has now reversed that. Uh, on the futures market, that low was exactly 62% of uh, the distance from uh, this low, this double bottom here up to yesterday's high and it came off that 62% retracement as I have a terrible habit of saying to the tick uh, so uh, if we have a look now at the SPX there's the SPX folks and the gaps a bit easier to see uh, and this is what old chartists I suppose I'm an old chartist uh, refer to as a nylon reversal very very useful reversal pattern indeed uh, so and uh, as you can see uh, We've made up all that lost ground. It, uh, it came back a little bit. It hasn't uh, closed the gap in any way, but we're moving up very strongly. So uh, whatever Mr. Paul said this afternoon, if he already has said something, the market seemed to like that. I note that the gold market is up significantly. Too early to do anything yet, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, I've looked at a couple of uh, shares that I like the look of. You'll probably have heard of them. The first one's called Apple, and uh, Apple uh, would seem to have, do you want to start off the five-year chart, uh, and it's pulled back, there's the trend, it's pulled back, it's pulled back into this level, as you can see, uh, there's a, a level here, and it's actually gone down and run those lows, it's pulled back in uh, substantially three waves, or three, there's sub-waves I know, uh, uh, it's early to do anything yet, but uh, it's on a sell recommendation and the, the, the uh, VectorVest uh, market timing needs to, at least the primary wave needs to turn up. Uh, but it's looking very interesting. If we go back now to a daily chart uh, and uh, uh, put up, get rid of that line for a second. But uh, if, we, if we blow this up a little bit, to me, and this is a technician's view. This is falling in what technicians refer to as a falling wedge. It's a very bullish pattern. No, nothing predicts the future, but this is a cracking pattern. And a, a wave has got, should have five waves in it. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. That pattern has completed, and it's completed with this uh, island reversal. And there's the island reversal, quite easy to see. Apple moving up quite strongly indeed. And uh, I think that uh, that can be uh, something that you would, uh, those of you that are 
into bottom fishing. We haven't seen a, uh, what uh, Steve Chappell at Victor Vest refers to as a blast off day yet, uh, but that might be coming today. But Apple to me uh, has got this long term trend. It's uh, come back to a very important level, plus it's fallen uh, in a uh, falling wedge pattern. I, I, I'm, I'm very fond of the falling wedge pattern because it's been an exceptionally good provider over the years. Nobody knows what's going to happen next, but uh, nevertheless, that's a high probability opportunity. Uh, might be on, maybe give it another day. Uh, uh, so another one which uh, you will have heard of before is NVIDIA. This is again a five uh, year chart uh, and it's a weekly chart. And uh, as you can see, a lot of volume coming into it, but that that's uh, we'll look at in a second. From this uh, major low in March 2021, uh, it's pulled back. I had a great run in this. This made my year last year. It really did uh, uh, that run up into that high. And then it's pulled back in three waves. Textbook uh, pulled back. This is what uh, would be referred to uh, by some market technicians as a Gartley pattern. It's pulled back to uh, the 78% retracement, a very important fib level. Uh, which is also a confluence with uh, these old highs here. And it seems to be charting a double bottom down here. Uh, it's also uh, made the uh, island reversal. So let's look at that on a, a daily chart. And uh, there's the daily chart coming back, folks, to the FIB level. Let's blow it up a little bit more. There's the six month chart. Particularly like this uh, big, big volume day. Uh, uh, off that low. Again, it's far, far too early to do anything, but uh, those are two stocks that I think can give us uh, a nice percentage move, even and, and, and if we manage our uh, exits carefully and not too greedy, uh, uh, even in a bear market rally, those can move up significantly for us. If, the, if it's not a bear market rally and we've got a resumption in the trend, which would clearly uh, require some form of backpedal by the Fed or some form of uh, uh, dovish uh, future advice by the Fed. I'm no macro guy, I'm just an old fashioned trader, but all I'm looking for is a low risk opportunity where I can risk a pound to make three or four pounds uh, as a swing trader. Uh, that's what it's all about uh, for me. So those are two opportunities. I'm quite sure there's dozens of opportunities. And if the market uh, starts to move, pretty much everything is going to move off these levels uh, in the same way as when the market fell, pretty much everything fell with it. As the old floor traders used to say, when the police raid a brothel, everybody goes to jail. So uh, uh, those are two uh, levels, uh, two shares that I like, uh, although, uh, and, and I haven't looked that hard to find any other ones. So uh, in the UK, well, we're pretty much in the same situation, folks. Uh, uh, and uh, UK ha hasn't had a good day today. We'll see if this reversal in fortune in the American market can pull us up a little bit. Uh, as you will have noted, the oil market has pulled back. I've been quite negative of the oil market uh, over the last six weeks or so. And I spoke about that every Monday afternoon at our Vectivest uh, Q&A sessions. Uh, I felt that the trend and the uh, trade uh, was getting very crowded indeed. Everybody was talking about oil, uh, whereas if you'd bought oil at the right place in April or May uh, 2020, everybody laughed at you as well uh, because only an idiot would buy oil after such a sell-off. So the whole trade started to look a bit crowded to me. Uh, so, uh, But I see that uh, many of the companies are hanging in there. Even at an oil price of above $100, they're all going to make an awful lot of money. Uh, I have the oil chart somewhere. Uh, this is one of my... Oh, should I say my Mr. Wyckoff's up thrust? And I got this one last Friday. Uh, uh, market came, uh, found support, and it went back. It came down, uh, went back, kissed those levels. It went back down, and then went up and kissed it again. And I got that one because it happened at a respectable time of the day, uh, eleven o'clock, uh, twelve o'clock UK time. 
but this one I should have had as well textbook uh, trend was down textbook up thrust but that broke at uh, midnight one o'clock uh, uh, during the course of the evening and your humble correspondent was safely abed uh, so I missed that one but that's the oil price sitting at 103 uh, there's a very important trend line that I pointed out on the oil market that would seem to have broken. Nevertheless, uh, I'm not saying for a second that we've got a bear market in oil, but uh, the, uh, uh, it could easily pull back a little bit further from here. Uh, we'll just have to watch it and see. So uh, there we are. Uh, the S&P is now up 20 points, so it's reversed significantly during the course of the day. Uh, uh, and uh, that red light has gone away and it's probably still got a bit of work to do before we get uh, the short-term trend moving up. Uh, uh, any bounce from here, if it follows through, uh, can be quite furious. Uh, uh, but bottom fishing, folks, is uh, not for the faint-hearted. Uh, and uh, uh, many of us uh, who are more conservative traders will want to sit and wait for the, the at least the medium term market timing system uh, on VectorVest uh, to give a buy signal and that's still a long way off folks. Uh, so I hope you found that useful. Uh, good trading.